Hey everybody, Peter McCarthy here, and welcome to my first video lesson online and on YouTube. Uh, we're going to start out with some real basic stuff, uh, the minor pentatonic scale in five grids across the fingerboard. Now whether you want to play blues music, which was nothing like what you just heard, or rock stuff, this is the scale that uh, is an essential ingredient that we know. Um, I'm going to show it in a few different phases and along the way we're going to do uh, some color tones, target notes, and passing notes and giving you some riffs to work out with these things. So it's going to be some fun. Let's zoom in and take a look. Okay everybody, so let's take a look at these five interlocking fingerings of the minor pentatonic scale. The minor pentatonic scale is a five tone scale. We do this in the key of G. The notes are G, B flat, C, D, and F. And then it begins over again at the octave. Now what happens is that we can take each one of these notes and it will be a starting note for a new fingering that enable us to play the same notes across the fingerboard. Very important concept is that these are the same notes all the way across the board. So let's take a look at these fingerings. And the first one's going to start on our G. And it looks like that. Second fingering that we have in this scale starts where that left off on the B flat note. Third fingering that we have is going to start where that left off on the C note. The fourth fingering of the scale is going to start where that left off on the D. And the fifth fingering of that scale is going to start where that left off on the F note. Now before I go ahead and give you some sample riffs with each one of these, take a look at the diagrams. Um, the very convenient thing for us to know is that these can start and sit right on top of a G minor chord or a G seventh chord. So that's the concept in its simplest form is that this scale sits directly on top of that minor chord or that seventh chord and we can proceed as we did as far as you can go learning the fingerboard using that as a starting block. So take a look at that and the diagrams are downloadable and let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you soon and give you some examples with each one of these.